Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Last 10 nights are nearly here in the month of Ramadan. Laylatul Qadr is the first time the angel Jibreel came down with the revelation to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is when our Quran was formed. Laylatul Qadr means night of power, night of decree. This time between sunset and sunrise, Muslims around the world will stay up on Laylatul Qadr and read the Quran, and do extra good deeds, give charitable donations. Our good deeds at this time are rewarded in multitude and our past sins are forgiven. SubhanAllah. So we believe between sunset and sunrise, that's when the angels come down. Remember, it's the night of decree. So in this time, this is when we are trying to maximize our rewards. In this activity, we are creating a Laylat al-Qadr story box which will show what Laylatul Qadr is all about, inshallah. Have a look at the deed scale. That will pair up with this activity nicely. The description for that is below. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Like, comment, share and subscribe. On an A3 piece of card, mark a line at eight centimeters from the width of the card. Cut into the four lines and then make folds to create the base of your story box. On Word, I've copy and pasted from my search engine boy and a girl, two prayer mats, a moon, three angels, the words Laylat al Qadr in a cloud, a Quran stand, the word Iqra, and the Laylat al Qadr dua in a speech bubble. I only need one set of these. After cutting everything out, I identify my floor, my back wall, and my ceiling, and then I stick everything into place. The mat goes on the front, the cloud on the back wall, the moon next to this, and scattered colourful star stickers. The Laylat al Qadr speech bubble goes behind the mat. My two blue cuttings will make up the Quran stand with the white back to back. I'm folding this so one length is a bit longer than the other. Now I'm creating three separate parts. The shorter part will be open and the end will be open too. The centre will have glue placed inside it. Once the glue is in place, open up both ends, the shorter end and the wider end. Place your printed sheet in the centre of the wide end. Glue the word Ikra on the right hand side of this Quran stand. Place glue on the bottom fold and put it on top of your mat on your left. Put glue on the feet of both your people and position them so they appear to be kneeling on each mat, one in front of the Quran stand and one on the plain mat. Using invisible string, hang your angels. Cut off any excess tape and keep them at different lengths and different distances. This will create a fuller effect of angels descending. Now turn your display into a box with sellotape. I'm adding a little gold pot made out of card to appear as a sadaqa jar. Once this is glued into place, the Laylat al Qadr story box is complete. We have angels descending in the dark night, two people in dhikr reading Quran and praying extra salat, and a charity pot on the side. You have the Laylat al Qadr dua and the word iqra written inside the Quran stand. Lots of stories to be told whilst doing this activity with your child on the night better than a thousand months. Like, comment, and share. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.